Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. The topic of our video today is speaker walls. A lot of people are confused about what contributes what problem inside their room. And they think that every surface is the same. They think that low frequency, middle frequency, and high frequency issues are kind of all grouped together. And you know, you can treat one and, and you'll solve the rest also, but it's not true. And this is one of the reasons for acoustical failure, if you will, in our room. So we have to realize is every wall surface area has a different frequency and amplitude. So we have frequency and amplitude here. We have frequency and amplitude here, here, and here. And then we also have here, floor to ceiling. Because remember, we have those three sound fields, floor to ceiling, sidewall to sidewall, front to rear. Each wall speaks differently. Let's take a look at a typical room. 17, 10, 23 is an example. Let's look at the frequency and the location. We have a 33 cycle problem in this size room. It's on the 23 foot wall. We have a 49 cycle problem on the 17. We have a 56 cycle problem, floor to ceiling. 66 cycle on the 23. The 74 cycle problem was on the 17 foot wall, 98, 17 foot, 112 floor to ceiling. What's that? I mean, you should be able to look at both of those and tell right away what's going on. Okay, fundamental and harmonic, right? This is first order. Okay, 122 on the 17 foot wall. We must treat each surface area with the proper rate and level of absorption. So a 33 hertz problem is way different than a 122 hertz problem. Different treatment, different amount of coverage, different costs, okay? So we must treat each surface area with the proper rate and level of absorption to correspond to the frequency, amplitude, and location of the issues, okay? So we want to look at the strength and the amplitude and then it's all about square footage, especially in low frequencies. We cover as much square footage as we can to manage the energy. For low frequency management, we like to have that 50 to 65% coverage. So if we have a 10 foot ceiling, we wanna get five foot of coverage across that wall. Good rule of thumbs, doesn't pertain to every situation, but trying to give you some guidelines and a roadmap to run on here, okay? Wave versus ray energy, it's always lows versus the mids and highs. Rays and waves take different kinds of treatment. Wave is low frequency treatment, which is our carbon technology, and then foam is the rays, okay? That's our, our technology for middle and highs. Refining that a little further, in our carbon technology, we have two, two products, the ACDA series and the carbon panel. Now, the big difference between those two is that the ACDA series goes down into the 30 hertz re region. It's big, 16 inches deep. The carbon panel starts at 40 cycles, okay, and it's 12 inches deep. Four inch difference can make a lot of difference because that's eight inches on, on both walls. So you just have to see what your problems are, what the dimensions of the room are, what the problems are how much square footage we need on each surface area, and make sure that the treatment matches the problem. If you don't, you won't be satisfied. So here's the thing in acoustics. As you start treating room surfaces, and you start resolving the problems on each room surface area, like these eight here that we walked through, the other surface areas that are left untreated really become pronounced. You really start to hear it. I see it all the time. A lot of people can't afford to do the whole room at once, which is ideal, so they break it up in phases. They'll treat the two side walls first, phase one, and then phase two, the front and the rear wall. Okay, phase three, floor and ceiling. Inevitably, a month after the treatment gets in and they live in the room for a while and work in it, they'll call and they'll say, oh my gosh, the other surfaces, I can't believe how noisy they are and, and how, many, how much I can hear. And this is the problem with, with doing it in phases. The surface areas that you treat get resolved, but the surface areas that are left untreated really become pronounced now. In an untreated room, you can't tell which surface area 
is mouthing off the most, really, is a, is a good way to say it, because they're all equally responsible for the noise, so to speak. But when you start eliminating each surface area with treatment and solving those issues, the other surface areas really start to shine and be pronounced. So there's always a, a, a rush, so to speak, in our inbox uh, for phase two. Uh, in the subject line of emails, I always see phase two, phase two help, phase two help, because they did phase one, and now they have to do the other phases because the other phase, other surface areas are really becoming pronounced. Speaker walls. Every wall has a different frequency and amplitude problem, thus requires a different treatment form. Really hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.